Good day, guys. Being here、um, today, we are going to talk about.、Um, so sometimes when we have a very long view or very big view, we need to split that view and place it onto.、Um, so for、uh, onto a shade. So how can we do it? So this is so this is a project、uh, uh, architectural template, and、uh, that's a zero. So let me just、uh, find a a three a three、uh, title block. So this is a, a Autodesk、um, family folder. So the here so title block. So let's just use this one a three and okay okay. So now this is a a three、um, title block. So I'm going to just draw something. I、okay, go to front a.、Uh, uh, Floor plan. So W A. Just draw some wall. Maybe a very long building. Okay. So and then. So maybe I'll just put a roof on the top. Okay. And let's have a look. Okay. So just need to flip to the exterior face of the wall. Attach. Okay. So we have a long house. So now go to south elevation. So if you go to It's this one. Let's、like, go、uh, to elevation. So this is the elevation view. So, and let's pretend this is a、uh, fully、um, detailed. So all the dimensions, all the you know nodes, tags,、uh, so doors, so all the tag, everything it's there. And and now we need to. So let me just move this also there. So we need to. Place this view onto the shade. Okay, so now we go to the shade, drag this. Uh, sorry, not not section. Go to the shade and drag this south. And oh, we found that oh, this view is too long. Okay, so we need to、uh, split it. So how can we do it、uh, easily? So we can do this. So just leave this view as. It is okay. So we right-click on the south elevation, and and duplicate view. So you use the duplicate as dependent. So this will create an exactly same view. So different to the duplicate with details. Duplicate with details will create an exactly same view, but everything you change, it will not oh not. Not, not. I mean, every detail you 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 change will not affect the other view. So of course, if you change the model, it will affect every view, right? So this in but dependent、uh, means if you change. So if I go to, if I go, this is a dependent view. If I add some text here, and this will also affect here the parent. So what we can do. For you are using this, the use of use、um, dependent view is we can create two two dependent view. Okay, so but all the information of、uh, in this dependent view, you can actually you can control everything in this parent view. But with dependent view, you can crop the view individually. So for example. Independent view. We can call it so. For example, south elevation、um, left. So, and we、uh, maybe call this one、uh, right. Okay. So, or, or、uh, maybe this is not not professional. Maybe call it、uh, west. Right. So this one will be、uh, east. Okay. So now. If I go to so this is the west wing because we drag we dragged this crop region so to crop only only the 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 left、uh, side of、uh, of this parent view and if I go to east we can just go drag this and and to to fit so the right、um, part of this view so but in now. Uh, if I go back to the parent view, so、um, you can actually see those. Let me just try. So see if you check this、um, show crop region, and it will not only show the crop region of this view. You can also show, see this dashed 
crop region. So these are the crop region of this dependent view. So now if I go to the shade, so we can delete this parent view. So we can just drag the dependent view onto the shade. And also another tool for you. So because uh, it, if you have this one, you don't know where where this um, this view aligned. So you can, of course, you can drag this to, you know, trying to align to the view. So on now, I know this these two views are aligned. So because we drag this one, you will see this. There's a dashed dashed line, very light blue color. Try to see there. So when you see this one, it means these two view are aligned. But if you drag this back to here, and you won't tell how you know how long this building is. So what you can do is go. You can go to so go into one of this view and hit here and tap on the tab uh, view tab. So there is so this this one match line. So just and then draw a line here, okay, and then finish. So now you will see this line will also show here. So it's telling you so this is the the same exactly same location where. Um, on this building, okay. So if, not, if I move this, so you will see it also move this line. So this is the match line tool, and get out, and that's it. So it just adjust the view and to fit the shade, and you know where exactly. So this point is this point, right? And also, um, so you can also change the change the style of this match line. So the if you only want to sh uh, change in this view, you can use override graphics, okay. And if you want to change it globally, so in this whole project, you can go to the I think object style. Let's have a test. Oh sorry, let's have a have a look. Match M here, so you can change it here. So for example, if I want. I want to change it to red color, and this will change all the the match line in every single view. Okay, so um, that's that's it for today. Um, and and also, yeah, because these two views are still dependent to um, this view, so you can just do everything here to all the. Uh, detail work dimension in in this view and then uh, these two view will be updated so you can go to the shade and see the dimension I just add in the parent view the text I just did okay so and um, eventually if you want to you know just break the relationship between all these view I just wanted to have this view as in dependent view so you can always right click on this view and then that convert to independent view and then after that so anything you any detail you do in this view so for example I'll add more de uh, details on this view it will not affect this view or this view okay so that's it for today um, if you have uh, any questions or if you have um, any other solutions or better ideas, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.